We're here in Moab, Utah at Hell's Revenge. This is a very gnarly Jeep trail. And the goal is we're gonna try to get Piggy through Hell's Revenge. And specifically at the end of the trail, there's a section called Hell's Gate. It is super gnarly. We've been trying to get there for many, many days to film this video for you guys. But every time I break down on the way out there. So we're really hoping that today is the day that we make it to Hell's Gate. <laughs> so let's go do it. This broke off yesterday when the wing rolled over top of me. I'm gonna frame that somewhere. Goldwing, change of underwear. Let's roll. Follow Piggy. <laughs> That's a ground loop. Safety first! Holy moly! <laughs> Piggy's feeling it today! Running like a top! It's running so good! Way better than yesterday, huh? Yeah. Oh, I got that. Yeah! Too easy for Piggy! <laughs> oh, that's a big hill climb. Dang, that's quite the hill that I'm about to go up on Piggy. Really? Colby, do you think you got that on your Chiron? I think so. Guys, Colby's 85 years old and is just out here ripping. <sighs> you got it. But this looks as bad as where we the other day when I wouldn't go up. Yeah, it looks much worse. This one's way taller. Don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah, you got it, Colby. If I can ride like Colby when I'm 85. Colby made that look so easy. My turn. Oh. Yep, yep. Good job. Uh, 2000. God. I scored <laughs> a, uh, Oh, shoot. Yeah. Guys, Goldwings are not meant for this. <laughs> but Piggy is. Piggy's not an ordinary Goldwing. Oh, golly. The ABS is really scary. Also, I don't have a front brake. I bought one on eBay, but the guy shipped me a clutch lever. And I was like, hey, can you ship me the brake one? And he ghosted me. Ain't nobody got time for that. Are we going up that? Well, down there is back where you were before. Oh, that's where I crashed it last time. I don't want to go there. Yesterday. Yeah. I was down there in that ravine and we were trying to get to Hell's Gate and I rolled the Goldwing over me. Ejectoed off of this ledge. I go sprinting out of the way because I know the bike's coming for me. Piggy caught me right about here. And I felt at least 400 of those pounds roll over me. You got this, Piggy. That's a big hill, I know. Oh, oh wheelie. Got me. 
I better walk this section. I'm gonna go left on this. Man. Oh man, this is really off camber. Yeah. Then go right and then take that out. And then where does this go? Oh yeah, that'll go. I know I'm being a wimp, but I really wanna get to Hell's Gate without breaking the gold wing. <laughs> I'm taking my precautions. Basically, I just hit rocks too hard with it and it breaks the case somewhere. Whoa! Whoa! That was less than ideal. That's why I'm being so gentle. I'm trying not to hit rocks too hard and break the case again. Check this view out. This is insane. We may actually make it to Hell's Gate. What do you think, Kev? Are we getting close? We're real close. Keep going. Yeah. Hell's Gate. Kev, we made it. Right? <laughs> so we need to get the tape measure out and measure the width of the wing and then go down Hell's Gate and see how wide it is. Because that's the, really the only reason we wouldn't be able to make it is because of the width. Just because it's eroded in the middle. We'll show you guys what we mean in a second. The second. only reason? The only re reason. <laughs> 32 inches wide. Ooh. 33 on the back. Baby Scott's in back. Oh yeah! This is the skinniest part of the trail. We gotta be at least 32 inches wide, 17 inches off the ground. So that's the width of Piggy's front end. 17's right here. No way. Absolutely no way Piggy's wide enough. You mean skinny enough? I mean skinny enough. So there's two sides to Hell's Gate. So maybe if we can fit on the other side, we're gonna go do the other side. And that way we can say we did half of Hell's Gate. Guys, right here, I was on the rev limiter on the Hayabusa. Whoop! And it got traction and just went boom! <laughs> piece of broken something. Souvenir. So we just made it to the other side of Hell's Gate. This is technically the entrance. Since the other side is way, way, way too wide for the wing, we'll just get it wedged in there and blow the valve covers off. I've done that a bunch. It's not hard to do. You guys have seen in the other videos and then it leaks all the oil out. So I think we're gonna give this this side a go. For sure be the sketchiest thing we've done on the gold wing so far. This is the top. This is kind of, there's a V right here. We might scrape, and this is the technical part. So there's these holes, these water erosion holes, and we do not want to get the wing in those. If I drop a tire, that will be it. I'll just take you guys to the bottom real quick. Ooh. Okay, man, that is pretty intimidating. I'm gonna come up right here, go up. I'm out of breath. Boy, this is gonna be sketchy. Kev, what do you think? It's barely squeeze through, but I think you can do it. Squeeze by. You can squeeze just barely. If we make it up this and the wing survives, then we'll take it to some other sections over here that are pretty close that are gnarly. Wish us luck. Whew. Oh yeah. Oh, we're stuck. Guys, the sketchy thing is I don't have a front brake lever, so all I have is my rear brake pedal. ABS, ABS, ABS. Let's make it happen! Woo! at the top but we made it up didn't even break the wing let's go to the next obstacle it should be down not up this is supposed to be down yeah <laughs> we went down and up yeah <laughs> Whoa. 
the wings ever run this good. It's running so good. Named after Mickey's hot tub. That's, that's this is your hot that's tub. his hot tub. I'm Mick. He's no Mick. Way. Look, it says right there. We've met almost every legend, and this trumps them all. <laughs> Guys, that was Mickey. Mickey's hot tub. You can't see, but the sign says Mickey's hot tub. We were trying to get his autograph, but he didn't have a sharpie. Okay, let's get let's get to the escalator. <laughs> to the escalator we walked it there's a hole of water halfway up piggy would drown for 100 percent so we're gonna do it on this enduro bike i'm more of a goldwing rider than a dirt bike rider so this might prove to be challenging <laughs> Matt, tell us how you are dealing with the suffering of excellence in motion. Pretty much just abusing your bike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I didn't right. drop it in the water. Right. I you saved it. You squeezed really hard. Oh, man. there's It's plenty deep enough to drown a bike in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Everyone who's commenting, liking. Really appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next video.